What is acute decompensated heart failure? It is a clinical syndrome characterized by symptoms and signs due to a cardiac abnormality, resulting in reduced cardiac output and elevated intracardiac pressures at rest or during stress. Classification of heart failure. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Heart failure with mildly reduced ejection fraction. Heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. What are the stages of heart failure? American Heart Association stages include the following. Stage A, high risk for development of heart failure, but no structural disease. Stage B, structural disease present, but no symptoms. Stage C, structural disease with symptoms of heart failure or under treatment. Stage D, end stage disease requiring specialized therapies. What are the triggers for acute heart failure? The common causes are acute coronary syndrome, infection, tachyarrhythmia or bradyarrhythmia, hypertension, increased fluid intake or volume overload, medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and pregnancy. What are the recommended blood tests for heart failure? Arterial blood gas is the initial test to guide therapy on admission for acute decompensation. Others are CBC, creatinine, sodium, potassium, liver function tests, TSH, and hemoglobin A1C. Brain natriuretic peptide, BNP, or NT-proBNP, is a marker of importance to confirm diagnosis. What is the indication for a coronary angiogram and heart failure? If there is a wall motion abnormality on the echocardiogram, suggestive clinical history of ischemic heart disease, and the patient is a candidate for revascularization, a coronary angiogram should be done. Classification of acute decompensated heart failure. Cold wet. Cardiogenic shock with pulmonary edema. Warm wet. Hypertensive heart failure. Cold dry. Pulmonary embolism. Warm dry. Thyrotoxicosis. Anemia. Share and subscribe. Thank you.